what were your first re reactions when you saw what the arc of the season was going to be? For, for Allison or just for everybody? Let's do both. I was really excited about Allison's journey this season. I think, you know, we get to see a side of Allison we've never seen before. Um, you know, she's kind of no longer able to keep up this this facade and and pretends and kind of keep people out of how she's, you know, really feeling. And, you know, I think everything that she went through in the 60s, I, it, there's without a doubt going to be lingering trauma and that could be lifelong and the effects of her time there and what she saw and what she experienced and what she survived. So I think I was really excited and I, I felt like we would be doing her such a disservice if we didn't address that and if we didn't, you know, allow her time in the 60s to affect where she is now and, and the decision making that she's making now. Um, and then I think for the season, I think I'm so proud of this season. I think it, it might be our best season yet. I think all of these characters are being thrust into to kind of situations that we haven't really seen them in before. And, and they're kind of venturing into kind of the unknown in a really amazing way. This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. I also, you know, think how we've incorporated Elliot's and Victor's transition into, into the season is just so remarkable. And I'm so proud of Elliot and the journey um, for him and, and his vulnerability to, to put that on the screen and, and share that with the world, you know, through Victor as well, I think is just so spectacular. The, the moments where Victor becomes Victor are some of the most poignant and powerful, but also it, there's a real subtlety to it that's really, really yeah. beautiful. And you can feel the love come through the screen. What was it like when you guys were shooting those mm -hmm. moments? What was it like on the day? You know, it was it was really emotional. Um, you know, Ellie and I are really, really close in real life. He's one of my dearest and closest friends and I, you know, I I have knew that that this is this was on his mind, and this is this is something that was really important to him, and and his transition and his journey um, with that and through that, and and so you know to be there for him in real life, it has been such a blessing, and I'm I'm so honored that he trusts me with that, and 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 has brought me on that journey with him. How's Umbrella Academy going? And does it feel different now? I guess so, yeah. I mean, because so much feels different. So many people have commented on it in terms of just how I feel in general and on set. But yeah, it's going awesome. Then to also then double down in a way and be able to like, share that with him on screen as Victor and Allison was, was really, really emotional to kind of, in a way, put a, a lot of the private moments and private conversations that him and I had, you know, behind closed doors to kind of put that on camera through these like aliases in a way was was um was really, really special. And and you know, I think everyone on set and, and Steve Blackman and all our producers in the writer's room, you know, I think we we really took Elliot's lead on on all of it and, and what he was comfortable with and, and how how much we wanted to he wanted to dive into that and how much you know, we as the show would dive into that. And and so I think I think the result is, is really good. What the hell is a Kuga Blitz? Essentially, we're screwed. I think we're not beating anybody over the head with it. And I think at the end of the day, Elliot is proud of it. And and I think that that's, that's all that matters, to be honest. Yeah, that was going to be my next question was if you if you had uh, talked to him after ha having watched how it turned out and how those mm -hmm. moments turned out and and he is yeah. he's happy with them he's proud of them. Yeah, I think I think we all are. I think I think you know we kind of were, you know, heading off into the unknown. This has never happened before in television, so we're kind of he's he's forging the frontier for this this moment and and I think I think beforehand when we were getting the script and the, those, those changes were being made because, you know, the majority of the first couple episodes had been written um, before, you know, they decided to kind of incorporate this transition for Victor into the scripts. And so uh, he just seemed really happy in those moments, kind of getting the new scripts and getting the new scenes and getting the new dialogue. And then I think I think the end result, seeing it on screen, I, I, I cannot speak for him, but I, I, I feel like 
he feels like it was done perfectly and and in the right way and then not you know not over the top and not you know making a whole episode about it and then kind of diving you know diving too far into it it's just kind of very matter of fact which is kind of how it was with Elliot <laughs> so let's fast forward to the end of the season uh, Allison is the one who presses the button resets the universe where do you hope your character goes in this if there's an, a fourth season I mean you said yeah you know she had this whole life in the 60s and that impacted her, it changed her. Yeah. What does that mean for her going forward now that she's reset the universe? You know, I think making the decision that she made, I think in the moment, in the immediate, it's this unbelievable relief that not only did she get Claire back, but she, she also got Ray back. But I do think even though Allison had quite the season and was extremely reckless and, and kind of threw everybody else's feelings and wants and needs to the wayside so that she could very single-mindedly get what she needed and what she thought she deserved and what she wanted. Um, I think she's still Allison. I think she is still, her loyalty is, is I think one of her biggest character traits. And, and I think the effects of not knowing what this has potentially done to her family, I think is going to eat her up inside. And so I think that would be really fun to play with to see. So do you think she wants to continue to be a part of that family? Yeah. I mean, I think, I th I, yeah, I think, I think it's undeniable. I think as much as these, these people try to pretend like they hate each other and they never, they wish that their, their lives would be so much easier if they didn't all know each other. I think there's kind of, there's this magic in that they are the only ones that truly ever understands each each other though you know no one will ever understand what it's like to have grown up the way that they did and have the abilities that they have and to live the lives the lives that they lead um and so i think there will probably come a time that she's going to realize that she does need them i think